Ladies and gentlemen, it is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and boy, does it feel good to say that again. Uh, we've been doing this at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and streaming for a whole lot longer, but this is JXE Streams. My name is Anthony John Agnello, uh, Engadget's Associate Engagement Editor, uh, which remains a mouthful. Uh, but... Today we're doing a little bit of a bite-sized stream in comparison to uh, to our other recent streams. We are checking out the new downloadable expansion for uh, Shadow of Mordor, the open-world Lord of the Rings game that came out this past fall. And uh, the expansion, which just came out in the past two weeks, is called The Bright Lord. And uh, The Bright Lord is, like... You get to play as a uh, Celebrorn. I, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, but the the elf who forged the rings of power and who possesses the main character uh, at the beginning of uh, of uh, Sh Shadow of Mordor. And uh, oh, there he is! There he is now. And I'm pretty excited about this. I know almost nothing about it other than you get to be him and you fight Sauron. I totally want to fight Sauron. A lot of people did not care for the fact. Kella. <laughs> Hoplite. Sick burn. Sick burn. Kella Brimbor. Oh, dunk. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens here. I'm pretty excited about this. Middle Earth is in great peril, Calibrimbor. Show me. My mirror shows many things. Most oh man, Kate Blanchett's gonna and say some shit. And those that may come to pass. Some things never come to be. Unless those that behold the visions turn aside from their path to prevent them. Dark Lord has the One Ring. I do not stand against him. Middle Earth will fall. Oh, that's a bad idea, man. Take care, Sylvan. If you defeat Sauron and take the One, you may become something far worse. As a rule, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think as a rule, Listening to what Kate Blanchett says. Like, if Kate Blanchett tells you to do something, just hear her out, man. Take her word for it. Keep searching for the elf. Oh, these How orcs are mad, escape. dude. Do not shame us! How did he escape your dog lord in the first place? Don't matter. Stop asking questions and keep your eyes open. It's kind of a shame, you know. You know that this is all going to end with fighting Sauron. Sauron's army is without number. My kingdom lies in ruins and my family is in chains. Oh. And yet. Calibrimbor, don't you know, dude, that ring makes people go bananas. Through this darkness. Not in your best interest to wear that thing. That is not just like a fashion faux pas. You're grown, man. Rings, honestly. It's like, at least it's not a thumb ring. It could be a lot worse. Oh, wow. All right. So, it is telling me that I can actually I actually use the one ring. Slows time, grants you invisibility, unlimited arrows, and unlimited executions. That, oh, wow. Captains lose their immunities while active, too. Awesome. So, essentially, oh, that's great. That's actually a really nice narrative touch. In order to re repower the ring, you have to brand enemies, which means, like, brainwashing and taking control of them. Which, I guess, if you were going to be a dark lord of an army of monsters, that's how you would go about doing it. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. All right, he is not as. He is not so. Calibre Moor is not quite as brutalizing as Talion is. Oh shoot. So I can, yeah, I can do some of the cool stuff that you could do as Talion, but not totally. I love, I like my favorite thing that Talion does is, you know, when you've leveled him up, he has a move where you can flip over an enemy and just immediately sort of spirit rush them back. And it's so cool. It's just this beautiful, beautiful destroyer move. Alright. Shadowbrand. Hold L2, tap 0 while aiming an enemy to Shadowbrand to target. Alright, this is cool. I like that uh, that Celebrimbor right from the start has more of an ability to take control of people than, uh, than Talion does, even. Alright. Another thing... <laughs> Dubsy, please don't don't invoke. Don't invoke. Don't invoke. Uh, don't invoke. Bohemian Rhapsody, right at the beginning of a stream. I mean, come on, like that's just dangerous, man. I've got to go. I gotta leave it all behind and face the truth, Mama. Ooh, I didn't mean to make you cry. Sometimes I wish I'd never made this ring at all. You know, that would be a better version of this game. All right, avoid detection. Brand enough Uryx to control the region. Okay. We can do this. Tutorial ranged mode. Does not have Wraith focus. Oh, that's interesting. So he just has a bow and arrow. I do have Wraith focus, though. I can... Alright, so... Oh, cool. Of course he can do that. He has the ring. He can become invisible. Oh, I'm not quite near them. Alright. <laughs> if he has a real bow and arrow, why is he still picking up ghost arrows? Oh, there they are. They're all the way over there. Wow. Trying to find... There is absolutely nothing better than the incidental dialogue that the Uryx have throughout this game. I adore listening to them talk, because there is an insane variety to it. Like, you never hear quite the same thing twice. I mean, like, yeah, like, there are, like, when they're like, we know where you are, Ranger, and they say that crap over and over again. But... They're always, they always have something to say depending on each unique situation, which is just great. All right, let's see. It isn't just about how much you train. You either have the skill deep in your blood, or you don't. Shadow Brand Strike. That's right. Now you're my friend. Now you're my friend forever. In the next downloadable expansion for Shadow of Mordor, everybody becomes your friend. Thank you, monster friend. I can't remember how to issue them commands. Okay, that guy is going to see me if I peek out, so I'm going to find an alternate route. Oh, actually, can I attract? 
Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, so. Come on over here, son. Oh. Somebody sneaking around. Did you hear somebody making all those funny hush hush sounds in the bushes? <laughs> I don't care what it was. Stay on your guard. It might come back. Red Martian, how many orcs have been stabby stabby in the facey facey? Well, the very first thing that happened was. Kate Blanchett came out, and she was like, Hey, a uh, guy who looks like the lead singer of Blind Melon, you probably shouldn't have made that ring, but you did make that ring, and now Sauron wants that, you know, to, you know, really hurt everybody with that ring. And I know if you want to get it back, but that might not be the best idea, because that ring tends to make people suck a lot, so don't do it. And then immediately after Kate Blanchett said all that stuff, I... I the game is just like stab ten monsters in the dome, and I appreciated the opportunity. I like being thrown into the deep end of faith stabbing time. That's always when it is best. When you're, it's just like you, you need to go stab some faces. Get in there, make it happen. Uh, I kind of wish I could just like, like be invisible thanks to the ring right now, but you do have to. You do have to recharge it by branding, guys. And I'm actually trying to do this full stealth, because if, if you guys can see, I know it'll probably be a little bit small on the screen you're looking at, but the bonus of that objective is to avoid detection, and I love the stealth in this game. It's great. It's great stuff. Hmm. Oh, all right. Never mind. There are bushes. We're gonna pick up two of these, two of these thugs right now. Come here, boss. Just come on over here. Nobody looks like Shannon Hoon over in this bush. I lied. I look like Renaissance Fair Shannon Hoon. And you were a fool to believe me. <laughs> oh, can I attract him all the way from over here? Sure can. Oh, Red Martian. Boy freaking howdy am I looking forward to September 15th. Actually, uh, let's, have a, let's have a discussion about this. So, uh, already, you know, I know that this is a different character uh, than, than in the proper Shadow of Mortar game. Uh, by the way, everybody, if you're just joining us, we are playing the newly released downloadable uh, campaign for Shadow of Mordor called The Bright Lord, where it's, you play uh, as Celebrimbor, the dude who forged the Rings of Power, uh, including V1 Ring. He's a real jerkus. Uh, and we were just talking about the stealth mechanics in the game, which are great, because they're, they're not overly punishing. They're fairly simple to understand. And the game doesn't, you know overdo it on trying to make like realism a priority. This is a universe where you can turn into a ghost man and shoot ghost arrows and you fight monsters and take over their minds. Uh, it's very much not like Metal Gear Solid. Uh, and like, I'm, you know, that's not to say that like Metal Gear Solid was, you know, based around some sort of realism. Metal Gear Solid has its own very, you know, fictional rules and that's how that world works and I, I it's great but i love metal gear solid however every single one of those games even ground zeros and i actually enjoyed ground zeros i think ground zero is a very interesting game the stealth mechanics are far more finicky there there are times where even if you are succeeding if you're not getting killed by enemies, if you are not being, uh, you know, if you're not, if you're, if you're getting through to the objectives and pushing through in the story when you're playing those games, even when you're making progress, it sometimes feels like you're doing it wrong, if that makes sense. And it's because there is just so much, you know, you're, you're, you're so quickly and savagely punished for being discovered in Metal Gear Solid, and it's so hard to sort of backtrack from that. Uh, 
And I know that part of the appeal of Metal Gear Solid V is adaptability. Like, you know, all of a sudden you're not going to be forced to, uh, you know, play the game as guns blazing. Like, you can adapt if you're discovered and do something. Uh, which is something that Shadow of Mordor does spectacularly well. The best thing that Shadow of Mordor does is that you can, if you're discovered, you can run away. You can get you can get out of you know where you've been found, or you know you can like you can you can take on an entire army. The best moments in Shadow of Mordor are when you're, like, sneaking into a base, you're trying to remain undetected, you're trying to, like, save human beings that are captured by the Oryx, and then all of a sudden you get seen, and then you're like, oh, no, I gotta get out of here! But then one of the, you know, Oryx generals shows up that you're trying to kill, and you're like, well, maybe I'll just try to kill him and then escape. And you end up being sandwiched between 50 different enemies. Oh, oh, I got saw, I got detected. Da. I got seen. That was my fault. I got greedy. See, right there. So I missed the objective, but, like, it's not like everything is just messed up beyond reason. Whereas in Metal Gear. Would you prefer Metal Gear to be, like, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Shadow of Mordor? You know, I... <laughs> Maybe. I, I guess I guess what I want Metal Gear Solid Five to be like is I, I want it to be a situation where it doesn't feel like the game is automatically over and I really need to restart or just go in and kill everybody uh, if I'm seen. Like, you know, when, when you play Ground Zeroes, you know, Ground Zeroes is... Oh, like what? That that little map in Ground Zeroes is something ridiculous. It's like one fiftieth of the size of the map in Metal Gear Solid Five. That's not an exact quote. I, I'm just trying. I know that it is infinitely small in comparison. Uh, but in that game, if you're seen once, you're pretty much screwed. Like you, you then have to either reload your checkpoint or just run around killing everybody. And I, I kind of hope that Metal Gear Solid V is a little bit more adaptive, as Hideo Kojima has promised it will be. I mean, regardless... Uh, wow, Dreamy Caster, it's 1-200th? Is that really it? Because that is wild. Oh. The Crack Blackthorn. What? This guy. So, this is going. This is the first like Uric general that just showed up, and I'm just gonna have my dudes attack him. But this is kind of a bummer because I can activate the one ring now, and the uh, the one ring just negates all of the you know defenses and stats that the generals have. Like, if you activate the one ring, all of a sudden they're just a regular Auric, and you can just take them out. And yes, yeah, Stubbsy, I, I would say a mixture is, uh... It would probably be ideal. It looks like only one of my controlled Oryx is getting in there. Come on, guys. Alright, fine. Let's ring it up. Uh, just like... Just like Bilbo, I'm already succumbing to its power! Alright, so you can't automatically just execute the, the general. Yeah, but I could just lay into him. Oh my god. Flash brand. Charge hit streak to flash brand. The higher the hit streak, the more Oryx you will brand. All right, so I can just all of a sudden make all of these guys my pal. Oop. General got me. So it just says defeat him. I don't need to kill him. What do you think to accomplish here? You are a 
Who are you calling a dirty thief, sir? <laughs> that was a custom made to order magic ring, and he is the one who behaved in bad faith, trying to infuse them with magic that will take over all of reality. And lay. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, no! Wow. I have died. <laughs> Alright. This time. No nonsense. The crack. Hey, your the crack is showing. That is lame. Wow, his last name is Blackthorn. You guys don't think he's any relation to Blackthorn from the old Blizzard game on Super Nintendo, right? He's taking a shot at me. Oh, there are my guys! There are my guys! Myth Ranger, thank you! Thank you for your faith! That's what I need! Alright. What do you think about this? Invulnerable to ranged? Oh, I wonder if I could use the ring and then shoot him with arrows. Probably, right? Can I... Can I stealth kill any of these guys? Alright. I'm not going to be one of those guys that just sits there and lets the army do it for me. It's going to get in this business. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but uh, we, we streamed the Shadow of Mortar for Joystick. Uh, a number of times when it first came out, because we were very excited about it, and uh, <laughs> our, our reviews content director there, Richard Mitchell, picked it up for the first time, went into a mission where you have to kill 50 orcs in a row, and like, without any leveling to your character, really, like, you know, still very early, didn't have all the combat skills, and just destroy them. And I, it's the sort of scene that I, like, I died in so many times trying to do it. Now that I brought in, like, all 12 of my reinforcements, which I suppose is what the game wanted me to do, uh, this is going much easier. Where are you going, son? Elf! You know, maybe it's just been too long since I've played Shadow of Mordor. Uh, it seems like Celebrimbor's animations are pretty different than Talion's, too. He's a little bit more graceful. Oh! Jeez, he is not going down. He's certainly weaker than Talion. Yeah, I'm fighting you like a warrior. That is exactly what's happening right now. I don't like it when you you question my skills there, bad guy. Whoa! Alright, you're my own guy. I did not mean to flip over you. Whoa! God, Celebrimbor does not have much life, man. Just a few hits and he starts to go down. God, usually when you get their life this far down, they start to turn tail and run. Oh, gosh! Crap, 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 crap. Not this time! Come on. Let's finish not before, not now. I can't. Alright. There we go. There we go. Nope! I love how speedy the control is in this game. I actually prefer it to the Batman games, the combat, even though it's almost identical. Uh, I can sometimes I sometimes feel like you know the the combat in uh, Arkham City and even Arkham Asylum, which I also preferred. You felt like a little bit like you were you know just floating all over everything. Like, who you call an elf monster, friend? Not 
And I am going to send a death threat. Yeah! Legendary War Chief. You! And... This guy! <laughs> All right. Celebrim board don't front, son. You will build a tower in my name. Erect a oh wow. For your bright lord in defiance of that shadow. That is not what you really want to hear from a good guy. That's cool though. I I so these are where the towers that you scale in the main game come from. That's cool. Very cool. I did not realize that that was what was going on here. Silverhand, you dare stay in Mordor? You think to challenge me here, but you... Oh no, I will challenge you. Your spirit will never see the halls of Mandos. Without the One Ring, you are nothing. I will tear down Baradur and rebuild a region in the ruins. Whoa. And I will let you serve me. Bring Damn. Him gifts. Nice. Calibrimpor is a jerk. Uh, yeah. Nithrindir, you are not kidding. That is just a little evil. A little evil. Not a lot evil. Just a little. Actually, it's a lot evil. It is downright sinister. That's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> and like, honestly, how intimidating is Sauron? The kid from Goonies brought him down. That kid had trouble with a tiny old Italian lady and Joe Pantliano. <laughs> um, so Mithrandir is saying, uh, I personally want stealth games that punish you for being caught and force you to frame your strategy to fix it. Like hiding under a building for like five minutes in Ground Zeroes to get out of an alert phase. But I get that that's a niche desire. I'm right there with you. Uh, I, I, I do want to be challenged and have to reassess. It's the, it's the hiding for five minutes part that doesn't, it, it doesn't feel natural to me. Uh, it, it feel, like, and I understand that in a real stealth situation it would be, but in a real stealth situation you wouldn't be hiding in a cardboard box. Uh, and I really want stealth games that permanently alter enemy tactics based on what happens. You get caught security titans. Hoping Metal Gear Solid Fies does some of that like it seems like it might. I completely agree. And I like I think that's what makes Shadow of Mordor so very special. Is that, you know, ultimately it's not how you stealth your way through the game that really affects the world and the enemy behavior, but the nemesis system of going through and working your way up the hierarchy of Uryx to, like, right here. Oh, okay. So some of my guys who survived that fight with, um, what's his name, are in a fight with a bunch of dudes. Let's go see what's going on in here. Let's see how it's going for them. How is it going for you guys? Ooh, there's only one of my dudes left. What the hell with it? That's right. Don't mess with my Oryx! I wish, like, so... <laughs> when you deal with War Chiefs... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, I cannot remember how to ride those things. And I don't even know if he can ride those things. I'm gonna beat a hasty retreat. Sorry! So... <laughs> Sorry, member of Celebrimbor's army. See you next time. Oh. What is this, Assassin's Creed Unity? Getting stuck on things? That's bull. Let's see. What is this locked icon? <laughs> the Dark Lord answers. You must capture more strongholds in order to lure out this warchief. Oh, hey, another one of my dudes. Hey, dude.
So let's see what is going on in the uh, in the runes department here. I have some. Oh, my sword is empty. Never surrender as you gain an additional last chance to return. Ooh, yes, please, absolutely. All right, so I only have the one, but that is very useful. Two chances to survive uh, after a fight. Am I fully leveled? Let's find that out. Upgrades. Fully leveled. You are not kidding. That is absolutely correct. So all of the skills are here. Can I ride beasts? Yes, I can ride beasts. Gain the ability to counter Karagor. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad I checked that, because otherwise I would not have fully remembered how to do it. So, let's see what's going on in the map, everyone. Not... Okay, I don't see where my dudes are. What's this up here? War letter. Silver, play more main missions to reveal. Let's just get into a main mission here. Petty Minds, take control of the region and construct a forge tower in defiance of the Dark Lord. Let's make it happen. I wonder if the entire game has the sort of, like, volcanic ash particle effect running through the environment. That's another thing that Shadow of Mordor does really, really, really well. I, I readily admit that it is not the most beautiful uh, game that's appeared on PS4 or Xbox One at this point. But, it, it, God, there are moments when I was playing Shadow of Mordor for the first time where I was just blown away by some of the visuals, and one of those uh, visuals is the weather wherein, you know, you can see, like, not just rain, but hail, and see all of the individual, uh, all of the individual hailstones striking the ground. It's just insane. What are we looking at in here? Oh! That guy is just making it happen. Like you, friend. Join me. Join me and my party of elfdom. Okay, okay. Oh, zero interrupt. The Karagor counter only works when they leap. Doesn't it also... If you're fighting them, isn't there a certain point when you're supposed to counter against them? Is it only when they leave? For some reason, I remember it at the end of a... Oh, I don't want to terrorize everybody. How many... I don't want to make that thing angry. I want him to be my dog friend. <laughs> be my dog friend! Is there anybody else in... Okay. Let's get a few of you on Team Elfring. Team Kate Blanchett doesn't know what she's talking about. I won't turn evil. Not true. Oh, this might get thick. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. This, uh, bring people over to my side automatically thing is really working out. Who is this guy? Hey, son? Oh, he was gonna ring the alarm. Now everybody's on my team. Red Martian, there is never enough Team Earthing. Welcome to Uruk! 
Consume. Oh yeah, all right, that's a thing you can do. I forgot you can do that. I don't want to do that though. I want everybody to be my pal. Dunk, 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 dunk. Here we go. Oh, come on, guys, get the guy in the alarm, will you? Ah, no, no good hired help these days, guys. Bam. Oh, man. Alright, here we go. Oh! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right now in these bushes! I'm gonna die in the bushes! Alright. I did not die in these bushes. Does anybody know I'm in these bushes? Holy crap, did they kill all of my partner characters? Wow. King Wybrow, welcome. Hello, how are you? Oh, does he know I'm in here? Ew. <laughs> that really didn't go my way. We'll just start this mission instead. <laughs> yeah, man, Stubbsy, you cannot get good staff these days. It's ridiculous. Come on, everybody. All right, here we go. <laughs> that's a, that's such a cheap way to get out of a fight. Return to me what is mine, betrayer. I taught you everything. Without me, you are nothing. The ring will never save you. Every moment you resist, your family. I don't know about suffer. that, Sauron. Silence, Deceiver. I forged the rings. I so I... the one. You will bow before I'm not me. like a die-hard Lord of the Rings guy. I I read the books. Uh, I enjoyed the books. Uh, I'm a big fan of the novella, like The Hobbit. I think that is just a great piece of something. Oh! <laughs> Don't get detected! Walk right in front of one of the bad guys. Did not do that especially well. Uh, so, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is I, I am not a purist. Uh, I'm not somebody who sits there and thinks to themselves, like, oh, you know, Lord of the Rings can only be this one thing, and, uh... You know, you are nothing. Uh, it, everything needs to like adhere to Tolkien's vision, blah, 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 all that noise. I, I'm glad that Shadow of Mordor exists. I'm glad that there's something that takes even more creative liberties than the Peter Jackson movies. That said, I don't know how I feel about, like, Sauron just hanging, uh, hanging out and, like, having a conversation with one of the main characters. Uh, you know, I kind of like the idea of Sauron as being something that's sort of unknowable. And I know that that isn't necessarily in line with the books. I know that the books are far more like, yeah, Sauron was just this one wizard who really, really made a go of it on behalf of, like, the devil. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of wish... Um, I kind of wish he was a little bit quieter so far in this. Bam! Oh, Shadow Brand Archers. So, okay, I know what it wants me to do there. I was like, why didn't that work? I just branded that archer. I don't really care what killed him, it's not my problem. <laughs> God, what a great game. Okay, okay. Shadow Strike brand. That's what it wants you to do, okay. Smelly Tunic, honestly it's closer to canon than the Hobbit movies were. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, that's another thing. Uh, for the chat, what did you guys think of the Hobbit movies? I, I only saw the first two. 
And honestly, once I heard how sort of lackluster the third one was supposed to be, I, I, I bagged out. I still haven't seen it. Um, I kind of enjoyed the second one. I, I didn't think it was terrible. I, I do think it is monstrously too long. Uh, but yeah, what did you guys think of those movies? I'm, cu I'm very curious, because uh, I know that they've been somewhat poorly received, but I know a lot of people that also tend to like them, personally. Oh, zero interrupt, boring, huh? God, the animated Hobbit. I have not seen that in a long time. I like that one of the uh, good monsters from uh, the Dark Crystal plays Gollum in the Hobbit animated series. Not actually, that's a joke. <laughs> that is not accurate. Alright, so that guy is taken care of. So I need to shadow brand one more archer. I'm wondering if all of these main missions are just go in take over all the Uryx, and then have them build you a house. <laughs> nah, you didn't hear me. You have no idea. Boom. Oh, you're already on my team. Ha! Huh. Yeah, my take on the second Hobbit movie. Great movie about a bunch of dwarves and a dragon, but worst Hobbit movie ever. Not too far off, man. Yeah, I, I like what? Bill Bull Baggins is in it for, like, what, approximately 30 seconds? Where is this guy? Let's not let's not get tricky here. Is anybody else around? Yeah, nobody's gonna see me drop on this dude. Boom. Zero interrupt. I completely agree. Uh, the Lord of the Rings movies proper were just infinitely superior uh, to the Hobbit movies. Uh, and, but even then, I, you know, I uh, I think Fellowship of the Ring is one of my favorite fantasy movies of all time. Like, I just, I really, really like that movie a lot. I think it's perfectly made. And I actually think the, uh, I actually think that the, the extended version of Fellowship of the Ring is, like, I prefer it. Oh, Transient States. Smog was great, right? And that's one of the few times that I've seen, like, just a, a truly spectacular CG character that I found totally captivating. And totally convincing. Like, I, you know, I didn't think it looked real, but I thought it, like, it didn't look like, oh, a Roger Rabbit cartoon character added in to this scenery. Red Martian, there is absolutely no reason that The Hobbit is three movies. Like, other than New Line Cinema loves money. Uh, which I suppose is, you know, a good enough reason to make something sometimes. Today at our New Line Cinema Investor meeting... Oh, can he see me? You can't see me, Archer. Calm down. Okay. The archers are running drills today. That surprises me. Who done been branding? All right. Bonus objective achieved. Whatever killed him, I just hope it stays away. These are very cowardly oryx. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I want to get up. On this tower, I don't not want to be seen. Alright, I actually think this is gonna work. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect!
Yeah, don't you wish that the bonus objective would come with, like, a Mario Sunshine style, like, BONUS GET! <laughs> the voice actor from, like, Crazy Taxi comes into the middle of Shadow of Mordor. BONUS GET! What? <laughs> what are you doing here, Crazy Taxi guy? Alright, let's stay away from them, because they are, like, flanking each other. This is actually, now this is getting a little thorny. Because, how many arrows do I have? Oh, I have full arrows. He's facing that way, he's facing that way. Alright, so maybe... Oh, crap, 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 crap! <laughs> oh man, that guy almost saw me. I was almost spotted. That worked out marvelously. So that's great. That's a great moment. Like, I just love the way this game feels. Like, if this were Assassin's Creed, I would automatically be feeling like I was fighting against the controls the entire time. Trying to get the character to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, why do I keep risking it? Alright, one more, one more. Awesome. Okay. And now... Oh wait, no, I can attract him over here. I don't even have to leave my bush! What is this, your special bush?! Yeah, come over here! Big guy? Come here, orc. There are sandwiches in this bush. Objective! Get to the vantage point. Yeah, done. <laughs> Always busy torturing the menfolk. That is one flirty orc. Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment would like to introduce the Flirty Uric downloadable campaign. <laughs> Snaggog! <laughs> Snaggog! This guy is a real Snaggog. Uh, okay. What do I know about Snagog here? Alright, Snagog is damaged by combat finishers. He hates Karagors. So all of these things, blah blah blah, strengths, gang leader, fearless, never flees, that's great. But what happens when I one ring you up? Let's call in the cavalry here. Yep, bring in the crew. So the guys... Alright, stealth attacks will hurt him. So... Oh, guys, no. Oh, why did you all come up here? Why did you all come up here? They all can't... Come on! Alright. Boom! God, I'm putting this down. Yeah, down in a second. What now, Snagog? How, how did they even get up there? Let all see my power yeah. The shadow shall burn. Oh, Kellebrimpor. You scoundrel, you. Looks like a follower of Nurgle. Nurgle is in the lead singer of Behemoth? Because that would be awesome. You have abandoned all reason, elf. You cannot hope to stand <laughs> against me. There is no victory for you here. <laughs> 
Yeah, Crowbone. Definitely. This is still the Kirby game. You know who I am, Sauron. Do you not even dare say my name? You put too much of yourself into the one. You are right to fear me. Guys, it, it, call me crazy, but Sauron sounds a whole lot like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget in this game. I'm not saying he is Claw, but he might be Claw. In which case, if you can take control of Mad Cat in this game, I am on board with that. Absolutely on board across all fronts. All right, so we have uh, just nine minutes left in today's stream. Uh, and I think I have enough time to go over here and check out Lawless Disorder, the Lawless Disorder mission. Oh, all right, so, so this has ten story missions is what it says in the sets. That's one, two, three, four five, six, I've done seven, and eight. So, in the span of 50 minutes, we've plowed through two out of the ten main story missions in uh, this downloadable expansion, and that's, that's that's not bad, honestly. Like, I, I've definitely played DLC, like, that is billed as story campaign and takes, like, 40 minutes to play through. Yeah, smelly tunic. I've never seen a picture of them together either. I have never seen claw and a giant flaming eyeball represented at the same location. I will admit that I wish uh, I wish Mordor looked a little bit different, uh, considering this is supposed to be so far in the past. Like the fact that it's still all the same ruins and stuff. Uh, as you see in the proper Shadow of Mordor game, you know, you kind of wish it was a little bit more consistent with, uh... I could crush anyone who dares to stand in my way. Oh, yeah, there you go. The Mithrandir, the freaking... The Batman and Robin DLC for Arkham City. God, Arkham City is such a bummer. Akhoth the Vile. Yeah, bring it on, Akhoth. Yeah. By the light Here, Akos. Army shall take hold. Whoa! Army. Make Oryx kill each other in four minutes. That is a freaking... Yeesh. Uh, yeah, this is doable. This is totally doable. You're on my team. I think that the only way to do this is to get in here. You're on my team. Who else is on my team? You are all on my team. Oh. Oh, gosh! Oh, you're on my team. Are you? This mass brainwashing maneuver is a, a great little touch. Uh, but it does make it a little bit hard to follow who are your team and who is not. Like so. I'm going to retreat and allow you people to murder each other. Come on, Celebrimbor, let's check out how it's going from up top. Do these guys know what's up? Ooh, jeez. That is a lot of dudes. Uh... What? 
Oh, crap. Get up top. Aim for the flat top. All right. God, this is a, a like, just awesome, awesome, awesome Shadow of Mordor style situation here. And they've... Wow, when you have your own minions, they die very, very quickly. Get out! Get out! Perfect. Good. Good. You got it. You got it, Celebrimbor. Oh man, this archer uh, of mine is still alive, and he is really helpful. So they know I am up here. We need six more to die in about 90 seconds. Four more to die. All right, good, good, good. Oh, Akoth the Vile has arrived. And oh, jeez, he has a whole crew of warlords with him. It is good of you to come our weak. Now our strong. Oh, I don't know if he's vile. Unless he chose that name himself. I think that's just a little rude. Alright. He's all the way over here. <laughs> Singlin loving it, yeah. Where is the tennis mini game in this, man? Okay. What are you weak against? Damaged by combat finishers. Not much else. Shoot, I don't even have any ring power. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious me. Um, yeah. How about some bees, everybody? Bees! One guy on the crew. And another option for some bees. Oh, that rat bag looking guy has had it with the bees. That is that is one too many bees for him. Let's actually go get him though. I wonder if I can actually Yeah! Stealth brand. Perfect. Awesome. So now I actually have a war, ch war chief on my uh, crew here. Oh, dang. Alright, that did not. Didn't work out quite as planned. An enemy is raising the alarm. Stop him. Uh, that. Oh, Mugrish the Rat. <laughs> awesome. All right, I love that. All right, no choice. <laughs> Takra the unkillable. For a second, I thought that said Takra the unlikable, and I was gonna be very, very charmed by that. Whoa! Good God! Oh my god! So I can't jump over these dudes. Wow, this is a bad scene. Getting the hell out of here. Oh my god, another horseshoe! <laughs> what the hell? Oh no. Okay, okay, alright! There we go. Wow. All right. So you really need like an army. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Come on, don't fail me now, ring. Now who's unkillable, Takra? Oh, what the hell was that? No! I won't finish nothing. You're my pal for life. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Uh, that brings us to 5 p.m. And uh, I know this is a little old school, only doing an hour, but uh, it feels it feels nice doing a little sample size for a little sample size DLC. Uh, this is the Bright Lord, and it's really, really kind of cool. Uh, you can go and download this for whatever version of uh, Shadow of Mordor uh, that you may have. Uh, and yeah, very cool. I, I like it a lot. I like that it feels pretty different and that you really have to use a large force of Oryx under your control to survive, because otherwise you know, you'd die pretty quickly. Uh, anyway, guys, come back tomorrow. JXE Streams, it's going to be me and Tim Seppala hanging out, and we are going to be player, playing Conquer Live and Reloaded for the original Xbox. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw it today, but uh, a little old-school Rare uh, action announcement from Microsoft, the Xbox One version of Shovel Knight, uh, the indie sort of 2D action game by Yacht Club Games. The Xbox One version of Shovel Knight is going to have Battle Toads in it. Yeah, the bat, that's I know that's a deep cut. So uh, yeah, uh, come on by. We'll be we'll be playing Conquer Live and Reloaded, celebrating uh, some some rare action in honor of that announcement, and it'll be a lot of fun. We'll see you then. Thank you for coming to watch, guys. Bye bye. A set-top box that you will be able to play games on and stream video content and lots of other good stuff. Uh, lots of the things that you could do with any Android TV in your home. Uh